Jesus, I want to be forgiven. I want you to take over my life. I want you to come and make me a child of God. I don't want to be in charge of my life anymore. I want you to be my Lord, my King, my Master, my Savior. Please make me your very own. Lord God, for those who uh, may need a church home, if you're giving them some kind of direction, you would confirm it to them so that they'll know. Lord, help us to have such a love for you and to walk in your spirit so very closely that you can direct our thinking, our perspective, and our ways in your word. We pray in Jesus' name. Now, to say we have this opportunity for a decision to pray, to make that known, we need to take the opportunity to do it. We're going to stand and sing, and when we do that, some of you are going, well, I need to do something that, how do I know these people might think something bad about them? Hey, you know what? We're all sinners. Saved by the blood of Jesus. And so what you have here is like a whole cheer team of people who are going to be cheering you on to respond to God. Don't let the devil convince you this is a time to nail your feet to the floor. This is a time to give your heart to God. Let's see. I'll meet you here. You can.
to my children. I've got our oldest son. We have eight. And we have one that's married. Lives in Austin. We have one. Our uh, oldest son that's with us is uh, over there. But uh, I'd like to introduce my family to you real quickly. And then uh, we're here primarily to share with you about the Freedom Rally. And I see you have in your your bulletin, and I, I'm grateful for that. And I just want to encourage you uh, about that. And that's what we'd like to to hopefully excite you about and, and encourage you about. But uh, let me introduce my family very quickly. Uh, my mom's daughter is Katie Blue, and then uh, Bethany, and then my son Micah, and then on the piano is Susanna, and then Lydia and Josiah. And uh, my lovely wife Kathy is sitting over here on the side with Dave, our, our second oldest son who's with us. But we're very grateful. The Lord laid on our hearts about four years ago that we, um, we needed to do more than we were doing. We were just very burdened about our, about our nation. And we were very burdened about our families and about our churches. And God laid on our hearts that we needed to do uh, more than we were. And so um, a couple of things, and some things I want to encourage you about is that the Lord laid on our hearts to begin to, to pray and fast more fervently than we had before. Um, you know, we, we prayed for our nation but really to have some focused time as a family. And so we chose Mondays to take part of the day and begin to pray specifically for our nation, for our national leaders, for repentance, uh, which has to begin with us, right? Not, it's, not, um, it's not someone else needs to repent, we need to repent. And the scripture teaches that, that the judgment of God will begin with the household of God. And I believe that probably largely the reason we're in the condition we are nationally is because the church is not be what she should be. So that's that's our that's what we felt in our own life and, and we felt we needed to do more to come before the Lord. And then we also felt like we needed to do more to take some action. And so we began to to uh, get involved in some things and support you know people that we felt like were had godly intentions and in, on the political spectrum and organizations and things of that nature. And it's really changed our life as we've plugged in as a family. And uh, it's not a case of dad goes off and does it, everybody else does their own thing. It's we really have been working as a family. And it's just been a great blessing as we feel like we're, we can minister as a team. And so um, I just want to point out a couple things. We want to encourage you about, about repentance and prayer and uh, to make this a matter just as the pastor said, this the condition of our nation, make it a matter of, of prayer. And it, again, it begins with us. It begins with our church and, then, and God's people. And then, and then it moves on to our nation and national leaders. And so I just want to encourage you about that. Maybe to consider setting aside a time. If, if, if we don't do it now, when are we ever going to do it? And uh, if, as, if, we, if we don't speak now, when are we going to speak? And so I just want to encourage you in those things. And then secondly, find a place that you can be involved. Find a place that you can make a difference. And uh, that's where the rally comes in right now. And it's just a beginning point, but it's a point to encourage believers in these things. To step up, step out, and, and speak for the right. Speak for the things of God in the public arena. It is so needed. And so I just encourage you in that. I want to share a verse with you that uh, we found this week in our family Bible time out of Luke. And uh, I'm looking in Luke 19, in verse 26. It's where Christ talks about the parable of the minas, or the talents. It's similar to that. And, uh, and I'm reading out the Amplified. I'm just going to read one verse, but it's, it's the summation, or, or maybe a couple of verses. It's the summation of this parable where uh, he says, Then he said to the bystanders, Take the mina away from him. You know, the one who did nothing with the ten minas that he was given. And give it to the one who has ten. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten minas already. And Jesus explained, and again, this is amplified, so it will sound a little different. I tell you that to everyone who has, because he has valued his gifts from God and has used them wisely, more will be given. But from the one who does not have, because he disregarded his gifts from God, even what he has will be taken away. And we have been given wonderful gifts of freedom. Freedom to worship, freedom to share the gospel of Christ, freedom to, to uh, pray in public, freedom to represent Him. And I'm not, and I'm, I'm not, don't point to myself or my family as a shining example of having done that. But that's what God has convicted us about that we need to be doing, and the time is now. And so I just want to encourage you in that. The Freedom Rally is a place to begin to do that if you haven't before. 
uh, it's a place, and I think it would be a very encouraging time. We'll have a brother uh, Rick Scarborough come, and he's a, he's a really dynamic speaker and, and has a great passion for this as well. So I'm going to turn it over to my uh, young people. I want to sing two songs for you. One is called For America, and it's about, it's about praying for America, interceding for America, and for America's repentance. And then the second one is Stand for the Right, and it's a song of encouragement that we might stand for what is right as believers. So thank you very much. Well, brother, I'm going to ask you one more if you want to pray for us. Oh, no, I have to be sad.
Tyler talked about and for him just to share our hearts with y'all. Um, this is something that the Lord's been really convicting all of us, starting with home daddy, but then really working with the rest of us too. And really, um, we've, we've come to see how much it will affect us as young people. And that's something that's really been a burden to us as well because the state of our nation isn't good. And the state of our churches isn't good. It's, it's very much turning away from the Lord. And we realize as young people, just in our 20s, and even younger, um, we will be living in this time. This will be our day. And so it's something that we really have had on our hearts to be praying for our nation and to be praying for our people. And um, we chose these songs for that reason. You'll hear um, that one that we just sang for America. We're really singing um, for the people. It's not, not for the government. It's for the believers in America. And just to have them turn back to the Lord is our heart. And seeing that is what we've been praying for. We hope y'all will um, agree with us in prayer for that. But we realize the need for us to stand for the right and to stand for God's truth. It's been so important and really um, convicting in our life. And so we're praying that the Lord grows us in that. And we hope to encourage y'all in that as well. So thank y'all for the opportunity. We're going to do one more for you. 